Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton and I'm the author of Staying Healthy in the Fast Lane. And I'm also a practicing physician assistant, been doing it 28 years in general practice that focuses on nutrition and preventive medicine. In fact, that's why I'm talking from my exam room. This is where I spend most of my uh, mornings and, and afternoons talking to patients about what I want to talk to you about today. One of the most common topics and that I try and get people to do as a patient when they come in is to get off dairy products for a one month trial. And many people balk, revolt, get angry with me, think I'm un-American, a communist. I'm serious. I get people really angry with me, and especially cheese consumers. So why would I do that after 28 years of practice? Why would I put myself through that? Well, one of the reasons is I've seen so many things get better when people get off milk products. Chronic complaints that physicians have never asked about what they eat. And for example, here's a, here's a really classic. Young child, nine years of age, chronic constipation, has a bowel movement every week. Overweight. Seen two or three pediatric specialists. No one ever asked her what she ate. Mother comes in, says she's milk products, cheese products every day. We take her off milk products and within a day, normal bowel movements, story over. I can go on and on with stories like that. And in my book, I actually have a chapter on page 89 just on dairy products. And I'd like to read you some of the complaints that I see or some of the symptoms. Asthma improving getting off dairy products. Back pain, because dairy can cause joint pain. Um, bloating, chronic cough, nasal congestion, uh, diarrhea or constipation, heartburn. I remember a gentleman going and getting a treadmill and all it was for chest pain was he got off dairy products and went away. Uh, menstrual cramps, nasal congestion, puffiness, can't get your ring off in the morning. Get people off dairy products, all of a sudden the ring comes off. Um, sleep apnea, gave a lecture to a group of executives, got two of them to get off dairy products, didn't do anything else I told them, and they came back and said, snoring's better, and guess what? They're sleeping better. Hear that all the time. Stomach complaints, upper respiratory infections, chronic allergies in young children, chronic ear infections, chronic sore throats, got to get them off milk products. So those are just some of the, the, the things. Now, reason scientifically why, if we go into my little uh, bullet points here, when you think about it, humans are the only species that consume the milk of another species after they wean their young. Two is they're the only species that consume milk after they wean anyway. It does it really make sense to give all the growth factors that make a, a young cow grow to 500 pounds in six months to a year to a young child or even to an adult. And if that animal has been injected with antibiotics, um, steroids to make them grow faster, it makes no sense. And if you want strong bones and you want strong protein bodies, then look at the biggest animals in the world. It makes no logical sense. They don't consume dairy products, the hippopotamus, the rhino, the gorilla, or the elephant. And they have massive bone structures. So that argument is absolutely fallacious. In fact, the countries that consume the highest amounts of dairy, calcium, and, and animal protein have the highest fracture risk. And the countries that consume the lowest amount have the least. So there's something there to be said. I'm not saying calcium isn't important in bone, or dairy could never be, but it's way out of proportion. So um, other reasons you might not want to consume dairy products. Uh, in children in particular, it might increase the risk of type 1 diabetes. Challenge their immune system, create an autoimmune state. It also may increase the risk to chronic allergies in children. It also um, can lead to maybe microscopic blood loss. Also, it's a very high, generally, calorie-dense food that can lead to excess weight. Um, dairy products, as I said, leads to allergies in many people. In adults, it may increase the risk to prostate cancer and also ovarian cancer. So, even if you don't believe me at all, what I would suggest is this. Take one month and go off all milk products, anything from a cow, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, kefir, not cut down, but off them all completely. And I would also do that for other animals as well. And then reintroduce. And I can guarantee you what I, you would see what I see. In about 70% of people, you're going to see one or many of those symptoms improve. The side effects, virtually none, except you might lose weight. Occasionally someone will have low blood sugar because they're not used to eating any other food and they're, because they're consuming so much dairy products. Occasionally someone will get a muscle cramp. But other than that, those are the only two side effects. And here's the key. 
Milk has opioid compounds called casomorphines that make you addicted to it. And so if you can stay off two or three weeks, especially key, cheese, which has the most amount of casein in it, which leads to these casomorphine, these opioid compounds, if you can stay off two or three weeks, the cravings will go away. I promise. It's almost three weeks like clockwork. So my pitch to you is this, and that's why I have it on my basic elimination diet. In fact, on my website and in my book, when you get it, I have this basic elimination diet and, of course, dairy products off there. So I would stay off dairy products for one month as a trial. The other thing I would consider doing, aside from obviously buying my book, is this book is one of the best books. I interviewed um, Dr. Keon on this on my website, prescription2000.com, on the whole concept of dairy products. But this is an excellent book that you should read for the health of your family and your children. Also, as far as the bone issue, when you're thinking all you need to do is pile on more calcium and dairy products, read Building Bone Vitality by Dr. Amy Joy Lanou. Fabulous book. Both can be gotten on Amazon.com. So, I'm Kirk Hamilton. This is the Staying Healthy Today Show. My website is prescription2000.com. You can get this book on the website or on Amazon, discounted on our website. And give a trial of being off dairy products for at least one month, and then write me and let me know what happens. Talk to you soon.